And now let's welcome the complete lineup for your COC Cougars. The COC Cougars softball team and the Antelope Valley Marauders clash in a battle for second place in conference on Tuesday for Allison Malgar, bringing her teammates to home plate and shielding a 10-4 victory was no problem as she kept her head in the game. It's a little nerve-wracking knowing that it's a game that needs to be performed in. So after I got a little bit of the jitters out, I tried to make myself as confident as possible going into the game. There were many motives to secure the victory for the Cougars. For Malgar, it was a relationship created on the team. Me and the other pitcher have a really good relationship, and I know that I'm always going to try my hardest and work my best for her, as well as every other girl out on the team that works for me when I'm pitching. Home runs aren't the only hits in this sport. Lisa Motes made a hit that secured the lead for the top of the fourth inning after tagging the opposing team on their third out. Really good. I didn't expect her to suddenly slide into me, but those are always fun. It brings some challenges to the game, and just not expecting it, so it's always fun. Despite this being one of the most important games of the season, the Cougars held their ground and kept a comfortable lead throughout the game. I thought it was going to be a pretty much back and forth game because they do have a good program and, and I knew that they had good pitching. Uh, but I think what happened was the, the kid kind of ran out of gas. He didn't. They had a few mistakes and I think they got let down from the errors that they had and that gave us a little bit of an advantage. The Cougars are now tied with Antelope Valley 8-4 on conference. However, COC holds a tiebreaker and will now move on to the playoffs. For Canyons News, I'm Daniel Herrera.